This is Mr O, and this is the Felt Tip Pen Challenge by the Numbers. There were 30 different coloured felt tip pens, four teachers, and in total, 85 different names for all of these colours. But how else are numbers and colours related? We're going to look at that in this video, starting with the 10 categories that I came up with for the different colour names. To create the categories, first, I wrote down all the colour names given by the four teachers. Four teachers and 30 coloured pens, that means 120 colour names. Then I put these into groups or categories with similar characteristics. The categories are basic colours, nature, seasons, weather and times, food and drink, feelings, armed forces, fruit and veg, people and characters, gems and minerals, and other. A good way to look at numbers is with charts. This first chart has got a long fancy name, proportional area chart, but let's just call it a circle chart. The bigger the circle, the more names in that category. Nature has the biggest circle because it has 21 names. Feelings is the smallest circle with just two. These three circles are the same size because they each have seven names. This kind of chart is useful for comparing different things quickly and easily. Trivia. The colour orange is named after the fruit, not the other way round. Ah, oh, Mr Rossiter. Nice to see you again. Uh, nice to see you too. So, um, you uh, took part in the Felt Tip Pen Challenge. You were the first uh, person to take the challenge and as a result I have uh, something to give to you and it is this certificate of participation <laughs> as you can see there. Oh, so nice, thank you very much. Yeah, It was an absolute pleasure to uh, be part of the Felt Tip Challenge and I was thoroughly amused by everyone else's efforts, impressed with some. Good. Uh, I, 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 I missed any bonus points, it seems. Maybe that's why I got 88. That may well be the case. You know what? Let's no military bonus, no fruit bonuses. So, yeah. well, let's put that it's right. It's a shame. It's a shame. Let's put that right. Right now. DPM. A disruptive pattern material that they use in, in, <laughs> the, in the army. Tangerine. Overcast. Beetroot? Ish. <laughs> uh, so there we are, Mr. Roster. You you got your uh, you got your bonuses after all. And worth uh, it. Worth the wait. There we are. You can even bring one up in your hand. <sighs> wow. It's a heavy one. Yeah, it is. Military. The military is heavy. Yeah, it is. <sighs> Look at that. That's right. I'll pick it up later. All right. To find the unique words, I had to remove any colour names used by two or more teachers, because unique means the only one in a group. So I removed any words repeated by two or more teachers, such as most of the basic colour words, violet and indigo and aqua, midnight, blueberry, peach and lime, gunmetal, khaki and a uh, Leaf. Leaves. This is a bar graph. The taller the bar, the more numbers it shows. 
you can read the exact number by lining up the top of the bar with the scale at the side. Mr. Rossiter got the most unique words with 17, followed by Mrs. Powell at 16, and Miss Lizzie and Mr. O tied with 15. If your chart is too big, you can trim out the middle and start from a higher number. You can also make bar charts with other objects like Lego, counters, or felt-tip pens.